get a thumbs up too early. Give me a second. Because there's a controller in my seat. Why does that matter? How does that give me? Wouldn't that get one thumbs down and one thumbs up? Oh. That's what I think. Hey. Perhaps you're the type of person who likes to sit on a controller. You're the kind who almost did. And I saw a real anticipatory smile coming from your face. Ooh, anticipatory. Ooh, Ooh. hello there. That's a big word, isn't it? You're the one who said the word. All right, come on, shut up. Okay. Babies. Hate me. Comedy. Improv. Best in. Show. The world. (laughs) I thought we were doing like an academy thing. This is our original Inception series the Simpsons Inception. used to be a two-screen experience, but then we said, boy, this really sucks. Now we're going to do it this way. Just a review, and guess what? It kind of sucks. We just watched the Call of the Simpsons. I'm trying to remember a question from last time. I think I had got it on here. I think it was, what was the name of the song that Bleeding Gums Murphy was singing when Lisa found him? And, well, I have, and what was it? The answer is I never had an Italian suit blues. Wow, who the hell could remember that? I did, I'm i I'm a Simpsons fan, Oof. and I couldn't remember that. I could have gotten that if I wasn't looking at the book. Also, if you're wondering why I sound so goddamn sexy, mm-hmm. the pollen oh. outside is literally killing me. Fun. I am not sick, but I am pollen poison so anyway the episode we watch call of the wild call of the simpsons we need a soundboard over here um you know i want to tell you something as i was watching this normally in my brain i'm thinking season one you know not that like funny. but not in a way that like season 13 plus is that's just excrement but just like not you said we weren't judging the newer seasons yeah somehow we're just gonna do it oh okay. i'm full of pollen and somehow. i'm i'm wild okay Beep. i was watching it and we're not gonna do that anymore that was a lot of work <laughs> i was watching it and i was thinking you know what this is really good even though it's still one of the first season episodes, when they get the... this In this one, they go and get lost in the forest. Mm-hmm. But they get that RV and that whole uh, stuff with them going in and trying to get uh, buy an RV on credit and the sleazy used car salesman or RV salesman. Oh, yeah, that was a good part. So That whole entire segment is so good. You want to know something? His name is Bob. It's not going to be the trivia question because I already have mine ready. So this is Bob. Okay. Do you have any Carson. salient points about the episode? Um. Well, pretty much they, Ned Flanders got this fancy RV. Homer was like, oh, I got to get something better than his. He tried doing that. Didn't have enough money, so he ended up getting this crappy one. So they went on their little expedition and they drove it off a cliff. But they're still okay because they got out before it like fell over. So, true. Standout is mm-hmm. and, and and the inception of the episode is Flanders shows up in one of the best looking RVs in history. Mm-hmm. Especially for 1990, that thing was full blown. It had a satellite. It's, yeah, its own satellite. So that's why Homie wanted to go get one and mm-hmm. wind up getting a total. T- I, I would say I'll say S box. So that I'm self bleeping. It's really bad. And typical Homer fashion, in short order, he destroys it Mm -hmm. and they're lost in the woods. And then there's sort of two competing stories. Mm -hmm. Homer and Bart and secretly Maggie Mm -hmm. go off in one direction looking for help. Marge and Lisa set up camp. Chill around there. And some of that bit with Marge sweeping with the stick broom she made and Mm -hmm. stuff. Good stuff. And how Homer was like... Oh, okay, here's our shelter for the night. And you're like, It was a really? lot of sticks. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> and then also, there's the micro C story where Maggie goes off on her own because, of course, Homer loses her even when he's not watching her. Mm-hmm. She goes in, like, makes friends with some bears. And that all works as well. Mm-hmm. That whole scene. 
um, some other stuff happens, but I mean, really what's funny is nearly near the end, Homer gets mistaken for Sasquatch. Mm-hmm. Bigfoot. Scientists collaborate, mm-hmm. and the best they can come up with is inconclusive. <laughs> he could either be a really intelligent beast or a really dumb human. Yeah, so so good. It's pretty good. Uh, let's let's give it up for a season one episode that mm-hmm. really shines. Uh, any other? That's all I have to say about it. Can I throw in some stuff recommended? You may have yeah, please. We need okay. we need some filler in this episode. The ultimate. What's the name of the RV? The best ultimate bohemoth. Yeah, bohemoth RV. Two stories high with a fireplace and full kitchen. Four deep fryers. One for each part of the chicken. A big screen television set. And its own satellite. The Van Star Eye orbiting the planet. I'm not sure what that means, but that's just what the book says. Okay, but we should mention that's the one that Homer tried to buy because it was mm-hmm. the step up from Flanders. Yes. That's the one that had its own satellite. Flanders RV had its own satellite dish. But I do love the fireplace in the RV is really good. It had its mm-hmm. own elevator and four deep fryers for each part of the chicken is another absolute perfect touch. Please continue. I'm just reading this thing. I don't under, I don't remember um, what part of the episode this was. This is just something that happened in the episode. Um, while they built a campfire awaiting the return of Bart and Homer, Marge and Lisa discussed the subject of where babies come from. Do you remember that at all? No. I heard a hideous story once in the schoolyard, Lisa said. Marge, oh, well, it's true, I'm afraid. Either we weren't paying attention. Or, uh-huh. you know, can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. Because we watched that in a different area, I was streaming that from my phone. Uh-huh. I'm wondering if the episodes mm-hmm. on Voodoo are cut. That might be it. Huh, interesting. That could have been there. We were, we missed a big joke. It's in the show Highlights. Damn. That's how you know it's good. Are you sure we just weren't paying attention, or you think it really wasn't there? I think it cut it out. Damn. Maybe it wasn't funny, and they were like... Mm-hmm. Get away with that. Okay, well, this is something for some people to look forward to. They can dig out that chestnut. So, recommended. Would you recommend it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Are we going to bury this trivia stuff, or are you going to come up with a trivia no, question? I got one. Um, what was one of the... So, let me paint a picture for you. When um they were searching for Bigfoot, remember they had the big group, and then... It was, like, right before they introduced Marge into the scene and asked all the questions. Um, what was one of the stands that was set up, like, to get money while they were waiting for Bigfoot? I, I saw... Oh, I'm not supposed of, to say because it's yeah, trivia, next right? episode. I better keep my mouth closed because I'm picturing one that's immediately popping into my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I got, um, I got two here. So there are so acceptable answers. So stay tuned for the ultimate trivia. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's all I have. Mm-hmm. Um, That's all I have. As always, mm-hmm. in all our shows, everyone's favorite part, I a real sweetie a pie. Sweetie pie? You're a sweetie pie. And you're going to, yeah, you're like Amber Dempsey. <laughs> you're going to smile at this little thing over here. I'm going to uh, read it. It's Sarah and her riff. Here's a fun little uh, thing for you guys. Um, At the beginning of the opening, um, the you know they do the chalkboard bit every time. Um, apparently Bart on the chalkboard was repeating, I will not draw naked ladies in class. You're welcome. <laughs> that one's a little intense for this show. Meow, dick, dick. <laughs>